energy from the sun. Earth on which we live is full of diversity, oceans, continents, mountains, plateaus and plains on the continents and regions of the light and scanty rainfall. The main reason is diversity in temperature. Temperature difference between places also causes winds and rains. The sun is the principal source of energy on the earth's surface. It is like a powerhouse which generates and gives out energy in the form of light and heat. Solar Radiation The energy constantly emitted by the sun is known as solar radiation. The energy radiated by the sun is more or less constant with very little variation throughout the year. The solar radiation received on the surface of the earth is called insulation. The actual amount of solar energy received on the ground level is only a very small portion reaches the earth's surface. Even the sun rays that reach the ground do not heat the earth's surface uniformly. This is because of the curved nature of the earth's surface. Land is considered as a good conductor of heat whereas water bodies are different. While land gets heated and cooled quickly, oceans will take time to heat and cool. Heat Balance the heat which earth receives from the sun is radiated back by the earth in different ways. Everywhere the land seems to be slightly undulating and sloping, resulting in variations in the amount of solar energy received on the land. Increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases in global temperature which results in global warming. High Temperatures Highest temperature recorded is from a place called Azizia in Libya. In July 1922, the temperature reached 57.8 degrees Celsius. Low temperatures. Vostok Station in the Antarctica, the temperature fell minus 89.2 degrees Celsius in July 1983. Inversion. The cooler temperatures near the ground level are due to less amount of insulation. Places near the equator usually get more heat. Places farther away from the equator often have lower average temperature for the year.